Nah, it's okay. I so I want to do a commentary on this one-on-one -on -one fight against a Force Master and kind of go through what I did and what I mostly did wrong. Uh, but I do end up winning the like game, so spoiler hours. alert. Uh, so I did something right, at least. <laughs> uh, so let's get started with kind of commentating this whole fight. So right off the bat, he goes with my cat. I try to do the tab cat charge, but I can't because my cat is CC. So I instead choose to go with the heal to get my cat back up to full speed. Um, right here, he gets me in a kind of a stun, but I had the flower petals on. And then I get him in the cat pin. This is the big one that I like to do because right now you can see in the cat pin that debuff for the animation up. And what happens is after that debuff ends, he's going to get knocked down right here, right in the middle of his combo. It's a great interrupt that people don't really expect, especially because it, uh, if they get you in some sort of stun lock, they're not expecting you to stun them right, right back or at least um, kind of CC them back. So right here, we continue our assault. He's pretty much lost it from here, uh, largely because he didn't have an escape for my cat pin. And that's that's one of the big things that I see fighting um, mid rank gold players is that they often don't choose a cat pin escape. Um, I realized that I had a pin escape since Force Masters don't have it. I'm going to put that point into my auto attack to get a little bit of more damage out of it. The second round starts out a little bit better for him because he's targeting me and he's putting a lot of pressure on me and leaving my cat alone. Uh, that's somewhat of a smart thing to do at this point because kn he knows that I'll just heal the cat uh, if he kind of targets him. So he gets me in quite a bit of stun lock but again my flower petal saves me. I should have tried to get out of that one but I couldn't because he gets me in some, some nice uh, some CCs. Then he puts a big amount of damage on me because he backs me in the corner. But luckily I get my cat pin and again he does not have an escape for that cat pin which costs him dearly. Um, if he would have escaped out of it, he, I think he would have probably won. But uh, he, he kind of uh, you know suffers for that. He gets into Ice Prism that unfortunately for me I seem to have been doing a lot of big damage at that point which heals him up quite decently. But again, I'm able to get some of the stuns off and put some distance between him and I. Uh, our health pool's roughly about the same, but again, he falls for a cat pin. Um, this is what he completely messed up on over and over again. These cat pins, he should have specced into it to get kind of out of it because that's the most deadliest combo that you can face. Cat pin not only, you know, pins you in place, so it's essentially a stun. It also decreases your defense by 50%, so you're taking a crap ton of damage, and it ended up costing him big time. So here's a fight against a Blade Dancer we're going to be doing. Uh, it's a, I think 1700 or so Blade Dancer that we're going to be fighting. Right off the bat, he attacks my cat and gets the stun off. I couldn't do anything, so I put the heal on to bring my cat up to full health. And he breaks out of that, that knockdown using his escape skill. Not the tap skill, they do have another escape. Uh, I tried to get the cat stun, but he had Tempest up that he you know, resisted for his damage. For some reason, he decided to go with this knockdown combo, which kind of somewhat pays off for him, but not too much because he was a little bit too slow to pull it off. So I was able to kind of heal back up using my cat. And then again, he's kind of putting a decent amount of damage on me and going for my cat. Uh, getting a lot of knockdowns on his part, but again, he doesn't necessarily follow up with my knockdowns. Right here, he tries to sleep my cat. I immediately pull it so he doesn't get slept. Um, that's one of the good things you want to do against a Blade Dancer. If they grab your cat, they're going to try and sleep it, and you want to pull it immediately. I have one point into my cat pull, or uh, the recall, back in rather, um, and that essentially resists status effects, so I, I immediately pull him right as he's about to pull. Uh, right now, he's playing a little bit defensive because he's low on health, and I have plenty of health that I can play with. He gets me in a grab right here, gets that soul stab in the grab as well, but the dots finish him off. 
So the second round I was thinking of switching from the PvE-ish Bri patch that, that is a little bit more damage to the PvP one, but I decided I can try and bait him into fighting inside the Bri patch more than uh, more than last round, especially with a little bit mobile. So we were gonna get the round started and hopefully I can bait him into fighting in a very stationary place. Uh, right off the bat, he gets the hit on my cat and then tries to do a soul or the, the grab on him and I immediately pull my cat so he doesn't get slept, just like last round. I uh, get dazed here and then he goes for the lightning draw combo on my cat. Gets my cat decently low um, and then puts up the tempest to resist all my damage. And then again puts my cat in an aerial combo and I don't know why he's doing the 5 point physical penta slash rather than the aerial one. I, I get the heal on him which pretty much heals my cat up back to respectable levels and puts him in a very defensive state. He falls into my, my landmine, uh, takes a tremendous amount of damage. He's super low while I am like at 80 to 90 percent. Uh, he gets the grab combo on me but again he cannot capitalize because I'm putting this debuffs on him, putting all these uh, dots on him that's just ticking down. Uh, he gets the heal again using Tempest to get the 10 percent. Uh, tries to, he should have done a lightning draw combo right here when I was stunned, but he, he just didn't capitalize on a lot of the, like, the opportunities he had, and it cost him dearly. Uh, I put up the defensive one, which completely blocked his aerial combo. Um, he should not have, like, that, that would have been the point that he should have done his uh, physical combo rather than the aerial uh, sword throw. But he fails on that as well. So overall, he kind of suffers for the mistakes he made. Uh, and that pretty much wraps up the two games that I wanted to commentate on. If you guys like the video, please do like and subscribe. I'll be doing a couple more commentary videos for the gold level summoners. So hopefully you guys can watch it and figure out what I did wrong, what I did right, what the opponent did wrong, and what the opponent did right as well. So until next time, it's Khalid PvP.